Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. Today I have my empties for August, and this is the first half of August, so this is the 1st through the 15th. Um, this will probably be posted late. <coughs> Excuse me, I am filming it a little bit late. I work every day, and um, I, we're not, it's been really cloudy here and cooler weather for August, um, so I haven't had a lot of sun, so there's no sun right now. Um, I'm not relying on the light from the sun, so this video will probably be dark, <laughs> but hopefully you'll be able to see everything that I show you. I'm going to show you what I have been melting, what I've used up, basically everything was thrown in here. Um, I did keep things that I was like going to continue melting in like each place, but I just went through them and grabbed the things that I've partially melted. There might be a couple things that I have melted that I've de-stashed or like set aside or something, but I think, and there always might be, but I think for the most part I've I have everything, um, and actually I don't, I really don't think I'm missing anything, but I apologize if I am. If I am missing something, it's probably like one or two things, but I doubt it. Because there are some things in here that I am still planning on de-stashing, and I'll get to them once I get to the bottom. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. Um, I'm going to have it focused close up, so this will be probably blurry once I start getting going. Um, this is Ava's Country Cupboard Teeny's Bakery. I only melted a tiny bit of this as a blender. There's only a little bit left, so that'll be done by the end of the month. And that's it's just a nice like cinnamon bakery scent. Great for blending. I did melt... Actually, I'm currently melting this. this is, these are two pinwheels, and I'm melting a half of a pinwheel. This is also Ava's. It's in Strawberry Patch. I'm blending it with the... Mm, Actually, I have these two. These two are going together right now. And um, I actually took this out. Okay, now I remember. Because I just turned on my warmer, and so it's just melting. And it's melting that strawberry patch and that teeny's bakery together. But I had this in. So I originally put a quarter of this, which is Sassy Girl Aroma Raspberry Sangria. I put a quarter of that in. There is something about this that ugh, I can't do it. I cannot stomach this scent. It on cold it smells like like a tart raspberry candy or a tart fruity candy. I'm gonna de stash this or just I don't know. Bag it up, give it away or something. Um but there's something about it when it started melting. I couldn't do it. Like I was like, oh my god, I immediately need to blend something with this. There's something about it that smells like violet sugar petals. Or no. Yeah, violet sugar petals that um vendor vendors do like vendor wax is done um and then uh what is it violet oh my gosh violet sugar from the store like retail oh my gosh it's the end of the day and my brain's not working this video hopefully is not gonna be a complete failure like this but anyway there's something about it that has that violet scent to it and i can't i don't i don't know i can't do it so I actually, before this like piece fully even melted, I actually plucked that out of my warmer. And now I just have the strawberry patch and Teeny's Bakery going. But I'm, yeah, this is going to be de -stashed. I can't do it. People like that scent. There's nothing wrong with that scent. But I cannot do that scent anymore. Um, pink Mimosa type from Sassy Girl. I melted um, a quarter of this at first. I ended up, and it was good enough for the bathroom. It was my bathroom. It was a nice, light, um, like fruity feminine scent, a little bit floral actually for pink mimosa, but I wanted to add another half to see if it would get stronger and it, it did, but it's still a light scent. So I don't know if I should melt it with something else or just melt this whole entire half, but it seems kind of, I don't know, it seems kind of crazy to have to melt like a half when you actually pull that out. Like this is a piece that I would normally melt. So to think I have to melt two of them, like a half of this huge cup. That seems, I don't know, it seems like a lot to me. So it's a light scent, but it still smells good. I mean, the scent itself is pretty. It's just light. I'm using up this fluffy lavender cake by Case Creations. It smells really nice. I've been using these brittle pieces in my centerpiece warmer at night, and it's just a nice bedtime scent. So that'll be done. It's it's a, It works out well 
for my centerpiece. Like it's a perfect scent throw. And then same with this. This is um, Ava's Country Cover Lavender Wishes. This is also like a nice creamy, sweet lavender scent. Um, and um, I think there's vanilla and something else in it. And so I've been using this brick too. Gives me good throw. These I've been using for blenders. These cut really well with my um, like wax cutter. I don't even have to heat them up. There's cotton candy frosting and pink sugar. You can see I've been using cotton candy frosting more. I think because I'm like... I don't know. I'm really stingy about the pink sugar for some reason. Cotton candy frosting is lighter to me. The pink sugar has been stronger as far as performance goes. I've been using those. I have I have a couple bags of these from Sassy Girl Aroma. They're probably further down, but I melted sweet thing. And this was a very sweet candy lemon lemon candy, sugary candy. Like basically a sugary lemon candy scent. And it gave a decent throw. I put it in my bathroom. It did pretty well. I think it would do well in a bathroom, a bedroom, or a small room. It wasn't like a blow you away type of scent. But it was nice. And then I melted Rosemary's Love Potion from Sassy Girl Roma. This was from my friend Tara. I didn't like this. <laughs> it was strong. I gave it a 5 out of a 5. So if you see these numbers, I rate them out of 5. 5 is the strongest one or even zero is the weakest. And then, so I base it off of a strength and then the appeal to me. So it was the strongest it could be. It was very strong um, the, in the piece that she sent me. And then I just gave it a two. A three would be like average, you know, like I like the scent. Uh, there's something about it. It's very herbal and it wasn't my favorite. So that's not one that I would repurchase. Although she did advise me to blend it, I didn't. I put it in my kitchen and I thought, because I was hanging out around my kitchen cooking and stuff, and I thought that that would be good. I don't know if that was a good choice <laughs> for a place to melt it. Um, and then I have Vanilla Cookie Crunch. I just finished this off. I think this is my last one. I'm not planning on repurchasing this because I have Vendor Bakery that I would like to melt if I want to melt something or make something into a bakery scent. I would use that over this. I'm not a big vanilla wafer fan, and that's exactly what this smells like. It's like very strong vanilla wafer. But if you're looking for a retail option, get this at Walmart and in yeah it's it's a good vanilla wafer cookie scent it will not disappoint this I loved I melted um, a half and then I, I liked it so much I the next day I did another half this is from rockets and it's not gonna I'm gonna have to like realign this for you so you can see it it's pink sugar cookie pink sugar sugar cookie toasted mallow or toasted marshmallow and I really liked this. This was a good scent. It was not too much pink sugar. And I just, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It was really nice. It, I, I, that sugar cookie and that toasted marshmallow scent together was great. And that gave me a really good throw too. I, I liked it a lot. I melted it in my, my bedroom. Okay. I have a bunch of scent shots I should just go through. This is Raspberry Buttercream. You can tell I didn't really like this. Um, there's a reason why. Breakfast Bliss. Okay, let's start out with this one. Breakfast Bliss. Sorry, I broke my nails a couple weeks ago, and they're just, like, taking forever to grow back, and I keep chipping them. Breakfast Bliss from Candles by Victoria. I thought I liked this. This is supposed to be, like, a syrupy pancake, like, full breakfast type scent, and I thought, oh, that'd be great. Well, I melted it on like a lazy Sunday and I just, oh, I just could not do it. It's, I, it smelled like pancakes and maple syrup and stuff. And there's something sweet in there too, like a fruity scent. Like, so there's supposed to be like maybe strawberries on the pancakes or the waffles or whatever. And I just, it was too sickening, but it had a crazy throw, guys. Oh, wait. I did this wrong. Yes, I did this wrong. This strength <laughs> I did these backwards. Yeah. See how I wrote far throw? Yeah. So the strength was a 4 to a 5 with an extremely far throw. Like, I was like, what? Who is making food? Like, what the heck? Um, but the appeal to me was only a 1. I did not like this. I don't. I did that backwards. So Sometimes I don't use my brain when I do things. Um, so that being said, then I decided to go with this, Raspberry Buttercream, and this was very similar. It had a very, it must have a, a there, this must be in 
the oil that's in this must be in this breakfast bliss or something about this raspberry or the buttercream or something because it was eerily similar like scent notes to my nose or maybe I was just extra sensitive to it I'm not really sure but it was supposed to be like a raspberry buttercream kind of smelled like that not truly authentically raspberry buttercream but yeah even now smelling it on cold they have like this similar scent to it it was um like a decent light to decent throw in my bat uh bathroom but no I wasn't a huge fan <coughs> Bermuda Triangle I could not smell this at all went in my kitchen um <coughs> sorry I ate something I'm allergic to and now I'm dealing with the repercussions of it um, it's supposed to be like a spa, tropical type fresh scent. It was like, I could barely smell it. On cold though, I liked it, which is, I wrote a question mark and then I wrote a three. Because I liked it on cold, it just had no throw. It's not one that I would recommend. I don't know like how old it is. Maybe a year. It's, it, I mean, it smells good. But I didn't get a throw. I didn't get a throw from this either. I was super disappointed. I've been hanging on to this for a while. Frosted Lime Cupcake. I like this on cold, but um, I couldn't really smell it, so it's disappointing. I didn't really smell like cupcake either. It was like, I smell like a fizzy lime cupcake, but then when you melted it, it was just like this barely there lime scent. Princess Milk Glass, oh shoot, I'm melting this right now. I'm going to have to just hang on to this and get back to you because I... I want to give you an honest review on like Vintage Chic Scents because this is from Vintage Chic Scents. I'm melting this right now and I just started it in my bedroom. I don't know why that's in here. I set it up in my um, bedroom warmer last night and then I just started it today when I got off work. So I can't, uh, that you'll see that in my second one. I'm sorry for even showing it. Olive Verbena from the Herbal Melts from Swan Creek. This is a nice scent. It's kind of like a lemongrass type scent. Um, in that family, um, not exactly, but this is more like herbal and like a more of a verbena type scent if that makes sense. Um, in my kitchen, it was a light throw, but you could smell it. I don't know. I liked it. If you're into those herbal melts, I would maybe give it a shot. This is nothing to do with anything. That's just like my random list. Oh, you know what? No, this is my this is my melted but I de stashed it list. So I had Rockets loaf in pink petal tea cakes. I actually melted that and it smelled so much like that violet sugar petals that I just I couldn't do it. So I de stashed that. I also de stashed a bag of uh, Sassy Girl Aroma raspberry starburst cotton candy. It was a chunk bag that I'd bought probably in January of this year or February or something like that. I melted that and it was like a general fruity scent and it had a good throw but I just it didn't stand out enough to me for me to want to keep the rest of the chunk bag so I actually de-stashed that and I'm not I'm just not into like just a general mixed fruit scent. Um, and then I also de-stashed the Glitterati lavender cotton candy strawberry that was, um, I can't remember if that was the chunk bag that I had, and I de-stashed a chunk, too, that was a lavender chunk. Either that or it's, like, in my, no, I think I de-stashed that. I de-stashed some glitter lavender glitterati, because I don't like the lavender from glitterati. It's really, really herbal. So, those are some things that I forgot to tell you about. I'm sorry I don't have them to show you, but I did want to mention that. Because I'm melting things and I'm like setting stuff aside to de-stash and I'm like, crap, do I have to hang on to it until I can show you? So I'm kind of torn. Some of these things I think I'll continue to write down, but if I want to get rid of them quickly or de-stash them, you know, like, I'm because I, I only have the weekends to really de organize and de-stash, I might just have to do that. But let's get back to this. So this is Candles by Victoria Bora Bora. Um, I originally put two because I thought it was light. It did turn out a little bit better. This was um, strong. It's kind of like a a fruity, fresh water type scent, tropical scent. And this was, yeah, this was strong. This was in my kitchen. It was strong. Um, I like it, but it's not one I'm going to repurchase. Okay, then we've got Lavender Pear from Wilma's. I really liked this. This was um, 
a sweet lavender with a really good pear. I think it's the perfect pear oil. They describe it as like the the perfect pear or something like that. So vendors use it as that pear because I know there's a couple pear scents. Um, I just dated it. I melted this in my bedroom and it was strong. Like on an 18 watt candle warmer in a four ounce uh, bath, empty Bath & Body Works jar. And it was so strong that I had to like make sure that my door, bedroom door, was like all the way open so it could like <laughs> ventilate out. I probably could have melted a half a cent shot, which is just crazy. But um, I think I have like a six or an eight pack of this, and I'm really glad I do. I feel like that one smelled a little bit different though when I bought it. So I'm going to have to melt that again and see if I remember a difference. But I would highly recommend, like if you like lavender scents, like sweet lavender, and you or you like pear scents, I would really, really recommend trying this. This is a good combination, in my opinion. And so I'm glad I, if I didn't have some more of that, I would immediately go on and purchase that again. I, I like it, especially because Wilma's has super cheap shipping. Peony from Kringle, this was disappointing. It was very, very light. This smells like kind of like a rose scent. And it was just really light, so it's not one that I would repurchase or recommend you like go out of your way to get. And then I have Crunchitize Me, which was crunch berries and tea and cakes. I really liked this. <laughs> you can tell it was very strong. I wrote holy crap. And then um, the strength was a 10 plus plus plus, and um, the appeal was a 4. I'm not super big on the crunch berries, but I really liked the tea and cakes. It smelled not like crunch berries to me, but it smelled like a fruity tea and cakes. Like it, crunch berries doesn't smell like crunch berries to me. Um, but man, was that strong. Holy smokes. And I did a half a cent shot and I should not have done half a cent shot at a time. I should not have done that. I should have done a small shard. So if you get this, don't, don't do a half a cent shot. Like try less. I don't think you need very much. That thing like blew me away. Destination Wax Spring Moss. Blech. This is not not my thing. <coughs> it was light, but I could smell it when I got close enough to it in the kitchen. <coughs> Excuse me. And it smelled like rotten vegetables. Ugh, I didn't like it. Sorry. Not my kind of scent. I don't know why I got it. Pink sugar cotton candy. I don't even remember this. I blended with this with something because it was light. It was not. I mostly smell the pink sugar. A little bit of that cotton candy scent. <coughs> it was light. I wouldn't recommend it just because it was light and I had to blend it with something. And I can't remember what it was. Fresh squeezed oranges from Sassy Girl Aroma. They smelled really good. I really liked this. I melted it in the kitchen. It did, did well. Gave me a good throw for the kitchen. And it was perfect. Salty Sea Air. This was crazy strong. I have to keep coughing. Hang on a minute. I needed to cough and like get that on my system. When you have a scratchy throat and then you're like talking for a really long time in a video, you don't realize that like talking constantly for like 20 minutes uh, takes it out on you. So I need to hurry up, but Salty Sea Air from Candles by Victoria. This is another one that was super strong. I did half a scent shot and I had to blend like so many different things to, to add to just a half a scent shot to get it to like calm down. This smelled like Jaws from Super Tarts. It has to, that Jaws scent has to have this, like this oil that they use for this Salty Sea Air. I don't know, it smells very similar, if not identical to the regular Salty Sea Air scent that everybody has. But this was like so much more concentrated. It smelled like a little bit different because it smelled so concentrated. But anyway, <clears throat> the whole point is that I would divide this at least into fours, if not just like chop off a small shard to melt if I ever bought this again. Um, if I did place another order for Candles by Victoria, this would be on my list just because this was so strong and I would use it as a blender. I think like if I'm going to get Salty Sierra, that's where I would get it from. Even though I already have some from Sassy Girl Aroma. Alright, I melted Huckleberry Wildberry Smoothie from Rose Girls. I melted a chunk of this. I am um, planning on destashing this. I did like it, but not enough to really want to keep it. So I'm going to probably put it in like a bunch with a bunch of other Rose Girls stuff. And I'll just sell it by weight, you know, like 
to try it. Um, this was probably my favorite of these three. I have blue raspberry coconut Noel that was light and I just I didn't care for it too much. And then triple berry jelly donut. This was nice. It's like a you know berry jelly donut scent. But I have other things that are similar to this that I like more and so I'm just probably gonna de stash this. These are like an older packaging though. I don't know. I'm probably I don't know if I should rebag them or if someone would just rather appreciate that they're coming from the regular bags so that they don't think it's like sketchy and not from the real thing. I don't know, but you know like this. What do you trust more? I don't know. I think I would trust this because I wouldn't know when it's from. <clears throat> but anyway, this was my favorite of the three. I liked that Huckleberry Wildberry, and it was like a creamy fruity scent. But yeah, I'll probably end up de-stash. I'm going to de-stash these two at least, but um, I might de-stash this one as well just because I didn't love it. And so if I'm going to get a group of Rosy Rose things together, I might as well have a few, you know. There are more scent shots. I've got red carpet from Vintage Chic Scents. This actually is really old, January 14th, 2016. This actually did pretty well. I gave the strength and appeal a three. <clears throat> and I wrote, what did I wrote? Oh, it's similar to the tea cake scent from the Bathing Garden, which is like a, kind of like a cherry almond frosting scent. Cinnamon Donuts from Candles by Victoria. Eh, I didn't write anything on this. I blended this with something else because I didn't like it on its own. A lot of people raved. Like, when certain beauty people on YouTube would talk about Candles by Victoria, I think when she was, like, sending them stuff to review, they, like, raved about cinnamon donuts. It smelled very Red Hot cinnamony to me when I first got it, and even melting it, I just, I didn't like it. It wasn't my favorite. <clears throat> Hibiscus green tea. It smells good, but it's really light. Not one that I would recommend spending your money on. Oh man, this empties video is going to be so long. I'm like nervous because if they're long, they don't upload. Cream cheese frosting, this was a good blender, but not one I would repurchase on my, you know, on its own. I just decided to use it for blending. It did the job. I've got <clears throat> a bunch of bags here. Pink sugar birthday. This was light. My bathroom. I do, I do like the scent, but it was light. Um, okay, cotton candy, frosting, zucchini, Twinkies. This, I wrote, you can tell. This was strong. It was like a good, a good throw. But this smelled like Doritos to me. I melted it. I went upstairs. I came back down. And I'm like, oh my God, who's eating Doritos? So I couldn't figure out what it was that I was melting. And I led my way back to my bedroom and figured out that it was this. I'm sorry, Tara, because my friend Tara sent me this. I did not like this. I, it definitely wasn't the cotton candy frosting. I, it was either the zucchini, the Twinkies, or the combination of zucchini and Twinkies. But now I'm afraid to order zucchini from Sassy Girl Aroma because, man, did that smell like Doritos to my nose. And I don't know what the problem was. Okay, my friend Tara also sent me this. This is Poolside by Avis Country Covered. I love this. This smells like a perfume to me. I looked up the scent notes. I tried to find out if it is like a, an oil like a dupe oil of a perfume. It smells like a pretty feminine perfume to me, but it was very light. So I'm going to try and find the scent notes to the oil to another vendor that maybe makes this stronger, if that makes sense. <clears throat> Pear salad from Destination Wax. I did not like this at all. No, no, no. Didn't like it. Um, I de-stashed the stuff that I bought. This was a sample from a friend. Um, what is this? No, this was not a sample. For, this was the one that I bought. I'm thinking of something else. I'm thinking of a different scent. Okay, so I bought this, and I don't know if this is the problem. This is why I circled this. There's a hole there. That's why it gave me, like, very little scent. Uh, the appeal to me is, like, this smells like pears and, like, rotting vegetables. I did not like it. It's not, it's not my favorite. I'm sorry to my friend Leanne, who's has a YouTube channel. She um she loves that scent. So I know that there are people that really like it. I just didn't. Good night, sweetheart. Really liked it. Was surprised by it. It smelled really nice. Good good throw. Vanilla sandalwood. Really really nice. Strong throw. Really 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 nice. This is by Tiffany. This is one I would get again. I need to take a mental note. Remember to get vanilla sandalwood. That smelled really pretty together. 
Um, Beach Nights number one, which is white. Smelled very good. Um, a Salty Sea Air Marshmallow Blend. I don't know how to explain it otherwise, other than that. It smells very nice. Doesn't have a chocolate note to it like the other one. Sweet Marshmallow. No, yeah, Sweet Bakery Dough Marshmallow Bomb. I know that it was written wrong. Um, I really liked this. I was surprised. It was light. I think it's going to be a good blender for me. I do have it. This was a sample that I had won. But I do have it in a chunk bag, and I'm glad I do, because this smelled really good, melting. It's a nice, creamy, like, creamy cake marshmallow scent. Okay, then I have Hayden Roll. This is a sea salt toasted marshmallow sugar cookie. This smelled really nice. It was, yeah, like a toasty marshmallow cookie well, with that salty sea air scent. Um, I'm going to put this back in the rotation and melt more of that this month, hopefully. Ouch, just pinched myself. And then the last little bag I have is Blackberry Lemonade Sweet Lavender Cotton Candy. And I really liked this too. This was a good, this is by Sniff My Tarts. This was a good, um, nice, tart, fruity, blackberry, lemonade, sweet scent. And then that sweet lavender just like kind of toned that tartness down a little bit. So I really liked that. It's already like cut up, but I cut it up when it was like melted. So then I like wedged it all back together. So now it's pretty much staying in place minus this one piece. But yeah, I melted like the, only the tip part of that pie slice. I melted Chicago Well Fit. This is blackberry mango? Lemon, blackberry mango ginger ale or something like that? I don't remember. Um, it's fizzy. It's fruity. It's strong. I like it. I bought two bags. I de-stashed one because I don't need two. I don't like it enough to have two, but I'm going to still like it. Harley Quinn from Super Tarts. I melted one chunk. Not my favorite. Every, I know a lot of people really like this. This is not my favorite. Pink sugar and blackberry jam with vanilla sugar waffle cone. I didn't smell the vanilla sugar waffle cone. This was a light scent to me, and I smelled mostly like a pink sugar, blackberry creamy scent. I don't know, I'm de-stashing that. I'm also going to de-stash Zool. This is um, blackberry plum and graham crackers. I melted one chunk. This is light. It's mostly like a plum scent to me, and I'm, I just I don't like plain plum scents, I don't think. I don't think I like plum scents at all. I'm probably going to de-stash Modoc, even though I do like it. I just don't love it. This is creamy peach and blackberry sorbet. Stacked on top of a vanilla sugar waffle cone. Again, I don't smell any waffle cone. This is mostly peach with a hint of blackberry. It's a creamy peach. It's a nice peach scent. I just don't love it. So if I'm going to de-stash some super tarts already. I'm just going to de-stash a bunch together. I don't, you know, I don't want to hang on to anything I'm not in love with. And then I have Scarecrow, which is patchouli sugar dusted wild berry mousse and sweet rain. I didn't like this as much as I thought. I thought I was going to love this, but I did melt two cubes of it and I do like it. I have another clamshell and I'm probably going to keep it. I went back and forth. Like, do I, if I don't love it, should I keep it? But I do like it enough and I think that I would enjoy melting like through this one and having at least one more, but I probably won't repurchase more after that. Um, it's a nice, like, sweet patchouli like sweet berry patchouli with like a freshness to it like fresh rain scent so it's nice it's a good scent for like this season like this weather that I'm having right now <clears throat> where it's like supposed to be hot and muggy and it's like cool and fall like so that is everything I melted I'm not going to keep you any longer thank you so much for watching if you have any questions leave them down below and I will see you guys in the second half at the end of the month thanks guys bye